let's get physical, it's Jordan here back again with this week's update and all the physical releases coming to the Switch. We are in the third week of December, the 13th until the 17th, Monday to Friday, retail, low print, imports and our community spotlight. Remember once we get to 100,000 subscribers we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED model to one of you so please subscribe, we want to get there as soon as possible, not in like two years, okay, because that's depressing. Now game of the year voting is still open, at least for the next day or two, I'll probably close it on Tuesday maybe and that's when I'll start working on putting the video together. I have to say it is mega tight right now. We're going to do a top 15 and it's so close in the pack so if you have not voted already be sure to do so with the link below. Now it's pretty quiet at retail this week. I guess with Christmas looming they don't want to be doing something ridiculous like actually selling things because who would want to take advantage of gift buyers? Anyways, very quickly, Owl's Collection should be seeing its delayed release this week, a fine double pack of games. I've talked about this already a couple of weeks back, so I'll just leave it right here. Among Us Crewmate Edition is releasing in Europe this week. I think North America is delayed until next week. Anyways, this is the Among Us game with some bonus content in order to facilitate the 400% price increase over the digital version. There's also a collector's edition which includes a plushie, although it's worth noting that this cartridge is kind of useless for preservation as you do need to have an online connection, which makes sense, it's an online game, I just don't see the point in a physical release, it should have just been a code. Alright, let's jump into the low prints, it's uh, getting a little better. Red Hot Games have announced yet another pre-order this week. Yeah, they still must need to pay for that champagne for the Christmas due. Calico, or Calico is the game this week and this is, well... It... <sighs> I, I don't really know. I mean, just look at it. You can ride a polar bear while wearing a polar bear hat. You can ride a giant swimming cat. It is LOL's Random The Game. I don't even know what the goal of this game is, I have to admit. I initially only saw the cover art for the game and I thought, ah, fuck that. But the trailer, the trailer actually kind of sold it to me. I would advise maybe changing the cover art, Red Art Games, just to just rip off some like Studio Ghibli poster and put that as the artwork and you'll sell a ton more, I promise you. Just my opinion. Remember, if you want to pick this up, you can use our non-affiliate code SWATCH10 for 10% off. And our executive producers, Thorn, Metal Luna and Parsnip Coffee, have chosen this as their pick of the week. Rising Hell is from Strictly Limited Games. Yes, I think they need to pay for their Christmas party as well. I heard Bratwurst isn't as cheap as it used to be in Germany. That's the economy for you. This is a very metal looking and sounding tower climber. You keep on climbing up to the top. This has roguelike chaos written all over it. Ascend towers and fight big bosses at the top. Nicely different characters and great graphics. It is pretty sweet if you like going up, up and up. Maybe you can play this once you finish with Downwell. As a strictly limited game, they have a standard edition as well as a collector's edition which includes a soundtrack, a graphic novel and some other papery things. And our executive producers Robotech, Punky Dooster, Boombox and Government Fat Cat have chosen this as their pick of the week. Monster Sanctuary is limited runs only released this week, at least at the time of writing and researching this episode. This is an interesting take on the monster catching and raising genre as it goes for a side-scrolling platformer viewpoint. You're getting a really nice and meaty adventure with plenty of monsters to train up, all encased in some beautiful pixel artwork. This is going to be a popular one for sure, although I do wonder why something like Monster Crown went retail, while this better game has to be limited run. I thought the roles would have been reversed there, but what do I know? December 17th to pre-order this in the standard or collector's edition. And our executive producers Jack Severus, Jonathan Rumor, Issa and Cartoon Soren have chosen this as their pick of the week. Alright, let's head into the imports, but before that, we need to have an ad break. If my experience is anything to go by, you're going to get an advert about Pokemon. You know you are. You know, the Pokemon company, they like to spend more on marketing than actually developing the game. Sick burn. 
Remember guys, if anything takes your fancy and you'd like to import it for yourself, then consider using the links below in the description and the pinned comment. If you use those links, it also helps support this series ever so much. You guys are wonderful, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Plus, in return for using our links, you can also get a very nice 5% off any physical item from Play Asia if you use the coupon code Switchwatch TV while checking out. That's 5% off with Switchwatch TV while checking out on Play Asia. But please make sure to click our link first. That is the way to support us. It's an absolutely massive week for imports. Pretty insane. I'm sure a lot of your bulk pre-orders are going to be dispatched this week. Firstly, one that I'm most excited about, Record of Lodos War, Deedlit in Wonder Labyrinth. Yes, I talked about this a good few times in recent weeks for various reasons. We all kind of assumed it would get a Western physical, and it is at some point early next year. But this is being sent out right now in Japan with English. It's an absolutely stunning looking Metroidvania, pretty much what Symphony of the Night fans have been dreaming of for years, especially with these visuals. Look at it! I'm also looking forward to playing it and adding that beautiful artwork to my collection. Remember, Red Art Games have pre-orders for Europe on their website, Video Games Plus in North America. And remember, as I warned you last week, Play Asia probably will not have any of the pre-order goodies if you pre-order on or after November 30th. They sold way more than they thought they would. And our executive producers, Elisa, Michael Del Polito, they, God of Resin, they've chosen this as their pick of the week. Death Smiles is seeing its physical release this week in Asia and Japan. This is a double pack of fantastic cave shooters. We've been waiting for this for a long time. Sure, Strictly Limited have pre-orders for this in Europe, but the Japanese version has English may be the best option for some of you. Plus, this artwork is nicer and you won't be waiting more than 12 months to actually get it in your hands. Shooter fans will be lapping this up and I wish I had the balls to do a review for it, but apparently I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to shooters. There is a standard edition as well as a collector's edition that includes a soundtrack CD and some extra DLC. Livestream Escape from Hotel Izanami is releasing in Asia this week. This is a side-scrolling horror game that stars a group of young streamers who are asked to shoot in an abandoned hotel. Here they must escape a rampaging killer in this survival horror with a few risque elements with the young girls here. It looks decent, reminds me of Sense and Detention, so I am all for it. This release does have English and there is no Western physical release, at least as far as I'm aware. It looks great! Pui Pui Molkar, let's Molkar party, may sound like something your drunken auntie would say at a wedding, but no, this is a party game. Not starring moles do not be ridiculous. As someone pointed out, they are, of course, guinea pigs. Apparently, there's something in the Japanese there. I don't know, but this looks like a bunch of fun minigames, as guinea pigs must save the town by playing Rocket League, amongst other things. This is amazing! This is releasing in Asia and Japan and should have English. Uh, the Chinese version does not have English, so make sure you don't buy that one, either Japan or Southeast Asia. Buy those ones. There's a standard edition as well as a collector's edition, which is essential because it comes with a plushie. I'm guessing it's of a guinea pig, it must be. The Colonist is releasing in Asian regions with English this week. This is exclusive to the region, I've been told, so do not expect a Western physical. This is a town management colony builder type game, as you may expect, and it features robots wanting to start a new life on a new planet. Get away from those pesky humans. I like it. If you like things like Two Point Hospital, Constructor, and things like that, this is a fun looking game and you probably want to add it to your collection. And our executive producers, Grant Sert and Brent McLean, have chosen this as their pick of the week. Hashihime of the Old Book Town is a visual novel releasing in Japan this week. This is a BL visual novel as a lazy writer finds himself repeating the same three days over and over again. It's set in early 1900s Japan and has a very distinct style. And for a boy love visual novel, as far as I'm aware, there's not that many high profile ones on the Switch. In fact, this may be the biggest one so far and thankfully it does have English. So yeah, it's pretty unique. There's no Western physical as of yet, or I probably won't be. And our executive producer, Alexander Kato, chosen this as his pick of the week.
Also, a quick roundup, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is here to confuse me again, this time in Japan. EDF, Earth Defense Force, World's Brothers, Best Prize, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I still don't think there's English on this version. Monster Hunter Rise, Best Price Edition, this should have English. And also, confirmation that I was correct about Demon Gaze, Graze, Gaze Extra. It does not have English, so if you've got that in an order somewhere, contact the customer support and say you want to take that out of your order. You'll be wasting money. Do not buy it. Or this. All right, the community spotlight is back. Now, I've been a bit hectic, so I'm pretty sure I missed a few of you who sent in photos. If I did and you really want it shown, be sure to send it again. I don't intentionally miss pictures unless you send more than one or if it's not relevant to the Switch or if you took the picture while you were drunk. But first, me. I got an Okinawa restaurant pixel heart last week. They were kind enough to send it to me and show it off to you guys. This is a fun side-scrolling action game that takes its combat rather seriously. It has really nice artwork, different characters, and a lot of personality. I know this has been a long time in the making, and those that play it tend to really quite like it. It does something a bit different than your usual side-scrolling action game. Personally, I have not played it yet, but I'm hoping to give it a go once I've gotten through Doki Doki Literature Club. This is being sent out by Pixel Heart. You can grab it from their website or some other retailers in Europe. There's also a couple of big Daddy Collector's Editions you should keep an eye out for. Uh, they are on pixelheart.eu if you want those. I know in North America, VGNY have just started to send out their version. It has a different cover art and such. It looks good. All in all, I really can't wait to give this one a go. Seems like my kind of game. Thanks to Pixel Heart for sending it to me. I really appreciate it. All right, on to Eula. Benny and the cat sent in this photo of their cat. Oh, also some absolutely spiffing imports. Thank you ever so much for your support by clicking our link for these. It really helps us out. That's a nice helping of mecha goodness there at the top. Our executive producer, Cartoon Sorensen, in their picture of a pretty much complete Atelier set, at least the English ones. It's amazing how many the Switch has and more are going to keep on coming, I am sure of it. E Rock Z sent in this photo of some lovely games. Thanks for using our links on some of them. Nice to see Arietta of Spirits there. Looks like a lovely little Zelda light from Red Out Games. Yufion sent in this arrival of the fantastic Trigger Witch. It looks brilliant. I think the soundtrack CD artwork looks much better than the limited edition artwork. Why didn't they use that one? It's badass. Girly Gamer DM sent in this photo of an all time classic Stardew Valley. I really can't wait to see what the developers got up their sleeve for their next game. They tentatively announced it and showed the project a little bit, which I can't really remember the name of off the top of my head, but I'm sure it's very, very promising. Our executive producer, God of Resin, sent in this photo. I tell you, three of these games will probably feature in our top 15 games of the year list. I wonder if you can guess which ones. Our executive producer, Grant Zert, sent in this photo of the recent Asterix game, Slap Em All, the limited edition, which isn't the Big Daddy edition. I don't know if that version has been sent out yet or not. Irina sent in this photo of a bunch of great games. I think that might be the very first tale of Synapse that I've seen. I know it came out a while ago, a European exclusive. Maybe someone showed it before, but I genuinely don't remember seeing it until this point. Joel Parker, many thanks for using our links to pick up Trigger Witch. I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did in my review. Our executive producer, Mental Traveler, sent in this photo of a very delicious looking cookie. I bet that's a banging coffee sitting next to it too. God damn it, man. And peckish. Uh oh, there's also Dangan Romper Decadence, yeah. Michelle Katani, I hope I said your name correctly. Uh, thanks for using our links to purchase these games. Some very cultured choices there. Everyone's a winner with Fight Crab, the ultimate import purely because of the artwork. My pal Dragon got in Eastward, yeah, baby. I knew this would be popular. We actually sold quite a few of them according to our analytics, so thank you everyone. I guess it's I am 8 bits lost though. I don't know what they're playing at, but hey, I will take the affiliate money all day long. Thank you very much. Maybe that's why. Maybe they are big fans of this series and want to support us by not announcing this game. Our executive producer, Parsnip Coffee, got in this triple threat. I've seriously been considering picking up Clanad. I think it's, it's almost time to take the leap. Our executive producer, Punky Dudes, is sending this photo of a bunch of great games. Sweet little European import of Little Nightmare. Strange that it never got a North American release. 
Q Freak sent in this bunch of cool looking action oriented games. I have my eyes on pretty much all of these and the only one I actually have is Liberator from Pixel Hearts. Pretty sweet stylish game. Rick Crawbert. Thanks for using our purchase links for some of these. Great choice with the Aria Chronicle, a very popular import this year. I am surprised no low print company took it on. It seems like it would have been a big seller for them. Our executive producer, Robotech, sent in a bunch of great games. That Eternal Radiance is the Play Asia version, which looks really nice, just as good as the one print website version. Our executive producer, Santa Tartaruga, sent in this picture of a lovely bunch of flowers. Anyone know what flowers they are? My flora knowledge is pretty lacking. Oh, there's Danganronpa Decadence. Cypheria sent in this photo. Kronos seems to have flown under the radar. A mid-tier budget game you'd have probably found during the PS2 era, which suits me down to the ground. Need more games like that in the world. Our executive producer V showed off the Brain Academy, uh, the Japanese version, plus the Japanese version of Clockwork Aquario. Did Strictly send theirs out yet? What is keeping them? This one plays in English regardless and is a decently fun arcade platformer. Our executive producer Issa sent in this bunch of games, Lapis Labyrinth, is it Lapis or Lapis, I don't know. It's a game that I've got, I still need to unbox it, I think I got it for Christmas one time, or maybe my birthday, I don't remember. Anyways, Roundup, Craig Morgan, Derek Jenkins, Brett McHorney, Radio Free Camlin. Palmer, Brian, Geese Nuts, <laughs> My Baron Plays, JP, Marty Ma, Jupa. Cookie Cory, Golbat Lover, Remy X, B Salt, Radio to Rancid, Dead Tech, Yusha. Week for waifus. Peter Clark. Needless Dragon. N Zero. All oh, right, please send me your pictures on Twitter. So what about game? You can DM me or tag me in the post and use the hashtag. Let's get physical. Although I tell you that is dangerous these days. Very very dangerous because. Uh, that's the one that I'll probably miss if I do miss it. We have an email address, switchwatchspotlight, gmail.com. And we have a Discord. The server link is below. You can send your pictures there in the submission section, okay? Don't miss the correct section. I'm sure people in the Discord will point you in the right direction because they're very nice. We have a very nice community. You should join it. Please send me one picture per week. That's it. All right, hope you enjoyed this episode of New Physical. Special thanks to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brian McLean, Jonathan Rumor, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, Jcross7776, Elisa, Punky Dooster, Michael Del Polito, Cartoon Soren Jack Severus, Robotech, Z, Raven Knight, Thorn Metal Luna, Parsnip Coffee, Government Fat Cat, Isa, V, Mental Traveler, and... Grant Cert, thank you ever so much for your wonderful and ill-advised support. Plus you, yeah, you watching right now, if you watched all the way through, what a massive legend you are. Show me the how strong you are. Show me the muscles. Give me the muscles. Show out the big guns. And uh, yeah, I'll give you some big guns back. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, please check out some of our other stuff. We've got a lot of stuff. Watch the stuff.